is the NRL in a position yeah. where we can afford a scandal? Mm. Yeah. Because let me tell you, Imagine these boys, these boys can't handle themselves in Sydney. Nah, yeah. yeah. Take them to Vegas. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Touchline Podcast, episode 37. If you're new here, hit the like button, hit subscribe, comment down below. Uh, we finally got four people back on the panel today, boys. We got none other than Mr. Joey. What's happening, Joey? Hey Doing boys, all right? how are you? Good, good thanks. Yeah, thanks good, for having good, me, good. man. Uh, yeah, of good. course, man. Honor, honor to be here, man. This bloke knows more footy than all of us combined. Yeah. His footy IQ nah, nah, levels nah. above us. Nah. You're going to love him on the podcast. If you do love him, let us know. You know, Ooh. Maybe it could be a regular thing maybe if Joey's up for it. Replace him with Anthony, you know? Nah, look, yeah. Just, yeah, look, I just want to say I'm actually proud of you boys, man. Yeah, I've been following you guys from day one. And um, you know, to see where you started and where you have got to. Um, yeah, just so proud of you and yeah. Nah, cheers, Joey. Yeah, thanks, no. Joey. Nah, glad to have you on, man. Because as as we said, we've heard your stories. A lot of great stories, Joey, Joey tells, man. From <laughs> footy stories. days, big stories, man. Great stories. It's very interesting. And um, you know, we decided why not have Joey on the pod. You know, talk we we'll talk a lot. We we'll talk a lot of rubbish and about footy and whatever, as we always do. And I think um, he's better than Anthony. I, think, I don't know. I reckon he's better than Anthony. He's, yeah. Anthony's actually going to hop on on a FaceTime. Yeah, so, so we'll stay tuned. Anthony is going to, hopefully, if he answers the, yeah, the phone Lebanon call. Yeah, connection. Well, can we just watch what we say? I don't want any tables being tipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. love that clip, eh, Joey? Yeah, you I love the it. prank? <laughs> Everyone yeah. loved that prank. Today. Yeah, I know. All my blast. friends did too, so yeah, it was good. <laughs> but um, before we begin, how was your boys' weekend? Was uh, What would you get up to? Uh, not not much. I had not uni, much. Just um, go work, go more, and then yeah. Canterbury League is pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, are boring. You know, crazy. Just family, bro. Yeah. Watched a couple of games. Yeah. Actually, didn't even watch the Dragons game. You didn't? Yeah, uh, I mean. Had enough of them? Had a bit on. Oh, look, you know, it's, um, I'm not a bandwagon fan. Yeah. yeah. You know, even when we're not doing good, you've yeah. got to get up there and, and support the yeah, boys. 100%. Um, but yeah, had a Bucks on the Saturday and... Yeah, just just a bit too busy. Yeah, yeah. A bit too busy. Don't worry, don't yeah. worry. I, I had the same had thing over the week. How much did you win? Too many drums. How much did you win this week? Hey, how much did you win this week? Oh, I won uh, three or three fifty on the pokies. Bull rush. Yeah, nice. Uh, Canberra legs was not was Yeah, everyone likes bull rush. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> bull rush. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, I'll get the games off. Let's get straight into the round twenty four recap. The round that was uh, sh- just the internet's Anthony's. a bit loading. Yeah, I'll take it. The internet? Yeah. You, you I got, I got there, there it is. Let's begin with our So the first 24. game, Penrith defeated Manny 24-12. <laughs> yeah, um, man. What do you think? How's your thoughts on that game? I mean, it's Penrith. Penrith, dom- they're showing their dominance each and every yeah. single week, man. It's, you can't beat this team. Who was out? Luo was out. They still, they still put a pump in. It was, what was it? 12, Jack 12, replaced him too. 12-12 halftime. Yeah. They were struggling that first half. They picked, a, they picked it up in the second half and look, whatever it was ac- happened, happened. It was actually something I was going to bring up a bit later. Yeah. Um, and I was going to relate it back to you boys and what the Bulldogs are yeah. going through. But let's talk about Penrith and the system they have in place. Yeah, yeah. Right? So against the Dragons, it was about an odd eight, nine weeks ago. Yeah. Cleary yeah. gets injured. Mm. Yeah. Dragons were in the box seat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but we were yeah. all over them. Cleary gets off. I'm thinking, how good's this? We're going to win this game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cogger comes on, doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. It's like he's been in the starting lineup for the last three years. Exactly. Like, yeah. You're right. You're right, man. That's this, 100%. And if you look at the five games yeah. that Cleary was out, Penrith yeah. won four of them. Yeah. yeah. And he's the main playmaker. He's yeah. an origin halfback. Yeah. Australian halfback. Australian halfback. halfback. Yeah. Any other team loses a calibre a player of that calibre, yeah. right? You're losing four or five of your next six games. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mate, Cogger comes in and it's like he was their starting halfback. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Right? And it, that just goes back down to the club Penrith are at the moment and the belief system. Yeah. Right? Every player is buying in. Every player has a job. They know their job, right? And Cogger knows. Yeah. I'm a backup halfback. Yeah. That's my job. Yeah. He's been sitting on the sidelines. We haven't seen him all year. For the first fifteen rounds, yeah, yeah. we didn't. He yeah. wasn't. He was. He didn't play a minute of NRL. No, exactly. Comes on Dragons game, wins Penrith the game. Yeah. Right. If it wasn't for him, yeah. Dragons, Dragons win that game. Yeah, exactly. Hundred yeah. percent. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
every player has a job yeah. and they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. it's crazy. They got they got they got layers, man. Layers on top of layers. If like the whole team's there, I reckon I'm convinced they'll still win. Their back their reserve grade team will smash half it's, the conference. It's if not all of them. They got the a good system, like as Joey's saying, it's like crazy, man. A bad player would be the best player. Exactly. You know, yeah. it's it's just so good. Like Croydon, he, he he's been one of their best players actually yeah. this season. Yeah. Intercept try. So they just keep on getting better and better. And now they're hitting uh, another gear heading into the final. So it's only gonna get better for like, them. I'm talking about that game. Like, mainly we're in that game. I'm telling you, that first half, m- remember the, yeah. the, Sh- the Schuster, yeah, the yeah. line break he had? He decided yeah. to kick the ball. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, who was he, it? Who was it to? Uh, uh, Kula, was it Kula or Jason Sauer? Uh, to uh, Brad Parker. Brad, Brad Parker, Parker. That's it. He should have passed the ball. That, that would have that taken the there lead. There was a lot of I mean? um, decisions in that game, like yeah, on-field yeah. decisions that they were, it was Even really costing them. the um, Liam Martin, I don't know if did you see it, Joey? The Where league. I think I don't know who kicked the ball. Liam Martin went to catch the ball. He knocked it into um. I've written it here. He's he's knocked it into. Uh, oh, I didn't write the name, but he's knocked it into one of the one of the players, the defenders. He's knocked the ball on. It's gone. It's gone forward, and then Cleary picks it up. He goes for a kick. He drops the ball, and then and then they were awarded a try after that. It was Croydon that scored on the the, the left the left end of the field. Was it a try? It was a try. Try. It was, that, that, that baffled oh, me. A lot yeah, of the commentators yeah, like yeah. Cleary, Cleary knocked it on. Is this like honestly like I know I don't want to be biased, whatever, but like we talk about Panthers favoritism. Like, mate, that was two knock ons. Yeah. Yeah, two knock ons in the one play. I wouldn't say it's. Look, <sighs> how do I say this? Pe- Penrith aren't yeah. the only ones getting the rub of the green. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you see against the Dogs yeah. Newcastle game. Yeah. There was a couple of dubious calls there yeah, exactly. that went Newcastle's way. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the Dragons, there was a blatant offside against Souths, yeah. right? Got awarded a try. Um, there was a sh- against Para, right? Dragons yeah. again. Yeah. Um, Gutherson strips the ball. Yeah. We score. Mm. Yeah. They disallow the try, call it a knock on. We go up 26 12. We don't lose that game against Para. Yeah. Yeah. What I feel. Right, and it, it, it's so hard to say this because to say that the NRL are sort of, you know, placing games to suit a ladder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it, it's hard to say that, yeah. but I honestly believe the rub of the green are going to the top four teams. Yeah, exactly. And to any yeah, team yeah. that's in contention of that's making right. the top eight. That yeah. is right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hence why your Newcastles, your Manlys, or the Paras, all those teams sitting around the that's eight, yeah. nine. You know, eleventh position. They get yeah. They're getting it their way. They're them. trying to. They're trying to bring that excitement into the for the, the last two, three yeah, games exactly. of yeah. the competition. 100%. That's, well That's just my opinion. No, no, no. I, I, agree. I agree. I could be like, wrong, unless, mate, because there's some calls that that are made, and it's like, how come I can see it in my yeah. living room, yeah. but yet you can't see it in a bunker? Yeah. yeah. That it's a state of the art. Room that they've built in Homebush, yeah. Yeah. so the bunker's not even at the ground. No, yeah, man. exactly. Yeah. So, for example, if they're at Belmore, yeah. right, the bunker's not in a shitty office yeah. in Belmore Sports yeah, Ground that's, that's about true. to collapse. Yeah. yeah, they're in Homebush with state of the art equipment. Yeah. So, what are you not seeing that I see through my, you know, plasma TV? Exactly. And that's the problem. Yeah. Like, I don't know why fans see things, but the refs yeah. somehow just go completely against it. Like yeah. it just, it's just very hard. And, to and back to yeah. your point, Joey. See, you mentioned about the top four teams and whatever about how we're talking about. Wilesniak, oh, we'll get into it later. That game against uh, Tigers, he put that board down. I don't know if you remember it, boys. Yeah, oh, I, I think I, I didn't watch the game, but I've seen well, it. He I've knocked the ball on. That was, that, was, that was a knock on any day of the week, seven happened, days a week. Happened yeah. a few times this week with yeah. a few tries. Yeah. And then you, you, cut, you cut to Preston uh, uh, against and Knights, uh, yeah. Yeah. Knights, and that wasn't a try. try. And then where, so, but then the... Pr- then the Newcastle forward that scored under yeah. the post, yeah. he that was given a try. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. It, there's no consistency. It's just, yeah, at, all, at all. And like what he said about the finals running that yeah. makes sense. I think no. they're just trying to build that excitement. Yeah. Right. They don't want the last two games to be dead rubbers. Yeah. 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 Right, so yeah. they want the teams in ninth, tenth, eleventh, eleventh position to, yeah. to have an opportunity to make the eight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because at the moment, I don't know where it changed this year, but middle of the year. It was so close yeah. where the team coming 14th had a chance to make yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like the dogs at the one point, I think before the dogs got pumped on Newcastle, we had a chance. they were a, a like strong chance. Yeah, yeah, the top yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, somewhere along the line in the last four or five weeks, there's you're starting to see the gap yeah. between the top two teams yeah. 
then the top, yeah. the next four, the next and then yeah. the bottom. Right, and then the bottom. Yeah, right. Yeah, 100%. That's the what, only team yeah. that sort of made a run is Newcastle. They've won like six, six or seven. They, they, the were, they were 11th before they pumped us 66 new. Look at them now. We were we'll behind look. them on the table. Yeah. All they needed was that win against us. And then it's always against yeah, the dogs. It's, it's sort of kick, it's kick-started yeah. their run. Yeah, yeah. Always, yeah always. Good, um, good win for Penrith. Their system is growing. Every year they're going to just keep on becoming a stronger team. But next game was Sharks defeated Titans 36-6. Mate, Sharks just mauled them. Yeah, easy, like, easy win. Like honestly, in I think they're on their fourth tackle, um, from the forty meter line, from their forty meter line, bloody from the Titans forty meter line, they have just two tackles, two tackles. They they scored a try off that yeah. from their forty meter line. I don't know who it was. Um, I think it was Talakai. Oh, no, um, fuck, I think it was Talakai. Was it on know. the left side? No, it was, yeah, it was Maybe towards it was the left side. I can't remember who it was exactly, but two tackles, they scored a try in that first half, in that first 10, 20 minutes. Make, made it look so made, easy. Like, that just set the pace for the rest of the game. Just, yeah. They just mauled them. Exactly. Even yeah. Tino and Fafita just signed a new yeah. deal, which is good for them because of Hasler signing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you um, reckon year? Tino 10 years is a big commitment, especially with a player like him? No, nah, I not, mean, if he's not, if he's not, they're not getting. I feel like he'll get it out of his contract. Yeah. I, I don't feel like he'll say that. That's what I'm saying. Like ten years, big. No, no, it's so. look a contract these days. Yeah, as you know, it's not worth the paper you're yeah. children on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like 100%. he can sign ten years for himself. Yeah, right. That's his safety net. Yeah, like he's yeah. got the contract. Like yeah. No matter what happens, yeah. whether he gets an injury that keeps him out of the game for ten years, yeah. he's got this is what he's getting paid. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But obviously, four or five years down the track. If the Titans have come, you know, last, second last, you know, yeah, down leave. the bottom of the table, mate, you, you, you can't up and leave. Yeah. I, I you know, reckon, you, yeah. I reckon he's, he's not a one club player. There's no, like, no. he's not. He's, oh, he's, he, he played yeah, for Storms. For storms. Yeah. He's not like, he's not going to be for the, really, that's the rest of his yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah. Look, like, bad day in the office for Titans, but I still think the future's bright for them. Yeah, especially 100%. Tino yeah. Fafita just re signing. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good so, yeah, good sign in Sharks. Maybe they can push for top four. After that win, but did you I see the? So, but did you see that the they need the feet knock on? I don't know if you saw it. Oh, oh yeah, the try disallowed. That was a knockback. I, I think, yeah, I think, uh, like I personally, think it was if you look back at that replay, I even the commentators, was, I think it was Andrew Voss. I think it was knockback. It was a, yeah. it was a knockback, and then they called it a knock on. Yeah, didn't, talk about I didn't, didn't see that. But yeah. again, going back to the refs and all, you know, that. to that the top whatever eight. that team. Yeah, you know, Sharks are in the top six. I think it is. Yeah, top six. Yeah. But look, I'm not sold on them. I don't think they'll do anything. Nah, they're pretenders, man. Um, yeah, they just are uh, f- very disappointing. Fitzgibbon yeah. is a defensive coach. Yeah. And and the Sharks showed that last year, um, you know, that defensive yeah, structure. Really good, yeah. Yeah. I just don't know where it's gone. Yeah, I mean, it's they're not they're not on the bottom of the barrel. Like, last year was last year. They, they, they just exceeded everyone's expectations. Look, 100%. Look, don't but, get me wrong. In saying that, yeah. they're not going the strongest. Yeah. Yeah, they're still in they're the top the, six. Which is but impressive. you know what, Joey? The way this season's going, they could very well make it to the grand final. Look, like uh, this top eight, like yeah. we would have thought Knights would be in seventh yeah. right now. Like 100%. As you, yeah. said, like, uh, we, you never we, know. If it was like the 2014, like Burok look seventh, we made the I'm grand so final. So for yeah, like, yeah. like in a way, Sharks could, if they hit form, they look, could obviously make the, it. Look, obviously the semi-finals, the competition starts all over again. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. You know, Finals, so those 26 yeah. game, 24 game, whatever it is. Doesn't yeah. matter anymore. Mate, that's on the back burner. Yeah, you know, you done. now, you, you play week by week. Yeah. Yeah. The games right? get harder too. 100%. I reckon the points won't exceed 12 in the finals. I'm, I'm being serious. I don't yeah. think there's going to be any blowouts come final series. I think Look, this I hope be not. one of the greatest final series. I think it will. I think I it will. Look, as an NRL supporter, yeah. right, and especially my team not being in there, yeah. Yeah. I want it. I want every game to be a nail biter. Who do you want to win, Joey? Doing the pin it down to a look, yeah, it's that name burns me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of Warriors hate fans it. hate it. A lot hate of Warriors it. fans hate it. Um, look, I wouldn't mind, I, I definitely don't want Penrith to win only yeah. because they look, they've won it two twice years, in yeah. a row. Yeah, right. I'm happy they even got the back to back. Yeah, because back to back is hard to do. Hard, and they've man. made yeah. it right? three times in a row. Like, and they've made three grand yeah. finals in a row. So, yeah. look, they've had, they've tasted the success, yeah. and winning a premiership is is so hard. It's hard. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. So, I would yeah. like, you know, let's not talk about teams. Let's talk about individuals. Yeah. Who actually deserves a premiership? Or who would you like to see win a grand final? Oh, Warriors. Exactly. That. I, like, I would yeah, love I like to see, to see Sean, Johnson Sean Johnson win a, Johnson, win a yeah. premiership. Has to. Honestly, yeah, I mean, it's, it's I've, got a, I've got a soft spot for Cowboys, so I would want them to win it too. Yeah. Again, as Todd Payton, um, yeah. who I've met a few times yeah. personally, yeah, yeah. He, be, he is an absolute gentleman. It would yeah. be good for him right? too. Yeah. So again, for him, be a good I would love to see him 
win a premiership. Yeah. yeah. It'll be yeah. good for himself. Like, it'll really put him up as their one of the, the best well, coaches in the game. And not only that, but also because a lot of people were writing him that last year was a one off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Which I, that sort of hurt me a bit because yeah. if you know Todd Payton and if you know his knowledge of rugby yeah. league, yeah. he is so smart. Yeah. He knows the game. He yeah. is a great coach. Yeah. What he'd done last year with the Cowboys, that was no fluke. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm so happy that they've bounced back from their horror start. Yeah. Right? And they are a contention. Or top eight, yeah. Um, like, I, I, there, that's another team I would love to see. Yeah, same. Um, do well. And again, the Knights. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, different. I wouldn't mind seeing Knights. Honestly, something personally, different. they they own Canterbury right now. Like yeah. they, 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 they own them. They're your, they own us. They're your dad. <laughs> they're they're, 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 they're <laughs> our dad. They're uh, our dad. But like, yeah, I'd, I wouldn't mind seeing Knights. Yeah, it'll be, it's gonna be it'll be interesting. Panthers, yeah, of yeah. course, will probably be up there to win it, but there will be a surprise. Probably. Next game. Well, us dogs fans are happy about this. It could oh, be the end for Eels. That, um, this makes top me eight so race, happy, man. Top eight chances. Broncos beating them fifty-four to ten. Yeah. Not to mention Reynolds scores his thousand. Yeah. That thousandth goal yeah. for NRL. Yeah, yeah. props to him. Wow. Well, and yeah. too good, man. Broncos attack. It's fucking silky clean, man. I, I love I love their I'll, they're only a Penrith attack. Yeah, yeah. The way Penrith play, if not fucking the same. But yeah, I was what's a good speaking to my dad. He goes, he thinks Reese Walsh, if he doesn't do anything wrong in his career and he he, he plays smart like yeah. you, you look at the yeah. other great fullbacks, um, he thinks he can be better than Slater. Wait, did you see the there. Uh, did you watch the game, John? I agree with that point, yeah. by the way. Because yeah. my dad said he's a He's good with the ball. That's something um, Slater didn't have. Slater yeah. was good at that step speed, yeah. but Walsh has got that extra the uh, footy IQ. He knows where to be. Yeah. He but knows like, what to do. Like, honestly, you're right. Your dad's like, if you see the play that could have could have been a try, him and Carrigan. See the the, the step he was the steps he was doing against uh, the Eels. I think he did like a triple step past the Carrigan. He drops the ball, he's whatever. So good, I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, he's, like, yeah. Was he's, crazy. he's definitely crazy. He's definitely a special talent. Yeah, I don't like him man. as a player, but I actually love watching him. So like going, way, going on your point, I was yeah. just about to say, I really hope he humbles himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all he needs. Where he, he can become likable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because 100%. there's one thing being a gun player Right, but then if you've got that sense of cockiness yeah. about you, where you're not likable, yeah. that's when I that will ruin the experience of yeah, watching oh, him. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So look, he's young. Yeah, let's not be too hard on him. You know, what is he's he? Twenty. Yeah. He's young. Twenty. Look, you, yeah. give a, you give a young, you give a young bloke twenty years of age. You give him fame. All the girls want him. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. He's going to have a rocket no, up his I ass. You know what I mean? He's got his egos yeah. in the crowd. Like, as the years go by, I think he'll start to mature. 100%. I really do. I, I really do. Because as a player, yeah, um, hundred percent can be better than Billy Slater. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because sure. he does carry the that, ball. That, that that his ball skills. You know that passing aspect yeah. to yeah. his game. Um, that's a one up on Billy Slater oh, yeah, already. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you see the, the, even the pass he did off the scrum? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy, man. Who was that too? That was to um, the left. The to left, left side. Wasn't that to the right? Was it some guy? No, Dean, left. Dean Marina. Oh, Dan. Dan. Oh, um, oh, yeah. Um, uh, Ma 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 Marina. Yeah, Marina. Yeah. Marina. Marina. What Marina. the fuck Marina. is that? Um, Joey, well. Walsh or Sean Johnson for Dell M? You said Walsh. Yeah. Yeah. We said Johnson. Johnson. I'll go Johnson. Yeah, I think I'll go only because, right, I believe... Johnson's impact on the Warriors is much more greater than, Walsh. than what Walsh's oh, impact yeah. on Good Brisbane man. is. Yeah. That's the only reason why I'll go him. But I wouldn't be disappointed either way. Yeah. They both they both deserve it of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And just one more thing on Walsh, I personally believe he's going to emulate Darren Lockyer's career. Oh, that's a big statement. A big so statement. He's, he's starting off as a fullback. Yeah. I personally believe in the next five, six years, Halfback. right? He, they'll, they'll move he into 5'8". He has the to play that. Because as we said, he's got the vision to play that. He's got good kicking game, passing game. So I agree with you. I think I can, can, I can actually see it. I can, can see he'll be their yeah. next biggest 5'8". We'll, we'll make gets, sure we clip that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look, he's, won, yeah. he's won the origin. Um, he could win a premiership. Yeah. He could yeah. get the Dallium. So imagine that all in one season. That's, yeah. uh, about that game, 24 nil half time. Yeah. Mate, that like, yeah, we'll craziness. Forget. Even like, do you see the fans were try? Yeah, yeah. Where he gets knocked down. And, and he went, mate, like, like, this crazy. team, That's this team is like so comfortable in their yeah. ball playing skills. They can do things like that. And what that. a better way to do it against Eels. Yeah. I know, man. It was, five, five tries in that second half. Five tries. I was blown away. I actually thought, I sometimes question my knowledge of rugby league. Yeah. Because I actually thought para was a chance. You know yeah. what? I really, before the game, yeah. I really thought that were a chance. You can never write off para. You know, Mitchell Moses got... 
Uh, he didn't play the second half now. Cheekbone So like you could say Like he because, made an effect In that yeah. second half That they got pumped This, this but Yeah I think that's but the end To Eels top 8 Top yeah, 8 chances I'll See you later Eels Next game Joey your team Dragons <laughs> defeated by Rabbitohs 26-14 Which I think It was a good I game I think you guys did well oh, I think you did exceptionally I think it was well. a very close game yeah. But I think the chore Was the difference a bit the, the, Yeah uh, Again the, the The outcome Not surprising mm. Um but as a supporter, happy they are giving it a dig. Mm. Yeah, that's all I asked for. Exactly. Last couple of weeks, you've been like the real. We've really team. been pushing. They've yeah. been towing the line, which is good. Which I'm so proud of them. Yeah. Um, because it's so easy at this time of the year. Yeah. Just to say, you know what? Let's just look forward to Mad Monday. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. You know, know what I mean? And, and just go through the strides. Yeah. yeah. Um, mate, they they gave it a good a good shot. No. And and that's what you can ask for. But again, another dubious call, right? That sort of gave Souths. You know that one up. Yeah. Um, whereas if Souths was playing another top eight team, that call would have got pulled up hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Which call? Which call? The offside, offside the trill. Oh, okay. Yes. The yes. Mate. Yes. Yeah. How do you miss that? Yeah. How do you miss that? Uh, that's uh, you know. But that, again, yeah. I didn't go online and start a world warfare yeah, yeah. because we're lingering. You know, we're we're close. We can taste that wooden spoon. Yeah. So the outcome, whether it doesn't make it doesn't a matter. difference. So what are you gonna do? So like, I yeah. think that's why the NRL. Again, I, why I hate saying it is because I can't picture the NRL sitting the refs down yeah. saying, hey, let's give Souths a leg up today. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see that nah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. But the way it looks is that they are there, there is a bit of favouritism yeah. you know, going off yeah. the table. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, where, where we're sitting... That, like, that, honestly, it, does, it doesn't play a factor. But Joey, but like, we, yeah. we on the ladder. I honestly don't think you deserve to be there. Yeah. Who the, picked it? So, I, I so I got. I got to let you guys know. One of the boys at the start predicted Dragons would have spoon. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. Was it you? Yeah, I said would. So spoon. and I commented. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember yeah, that yeah. comment? Yeah, so I got. Yeah. I got a bit upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And I was like. Bro, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, what what ben, what team that's led by Ben Hunt is gonna come last? <laughs> so, uh, you know, face to no, face, I just want to apologise. No, <laughs> no, Thanks, Joey. You yeah, weren't wrong. You weren't wrong. I agree because first of all, I keep saying, I tell my friends, everyone, Dragons have a very good team, a very good team. If you look at the players they have, but just I think the off field problems and the Ben Hunt situation and the, and the situation, the Amon situation at the start of the season has played a big impact on the whole squad. This yeah, season. look, and it's it's so much deeper, man. Yeah, it's so much deeper. Yeah, we've got a good roster, not a not a cracker roster. Yeah, we've got a good roster. Yeah, yeah. um, we don't have a bench, and we had this conversation the other time. Yeah, right. That's right. Um, that's what I was. Why I wasn't confident is, mate. A great bench is so imperative for your team to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have that bench. Um, and again, I wasn't sold on Griffin to begin with. Yeah. Because I've heard through the grapevine that his people his people skills aren't the greatest. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Where he's just cutthroat, straight to the point, very short. Yeah. yeah. So like you play first grade on Sunday, he'll drop you Monday, but he won't pull you in and talk to you and say, this is why I've dropped you. Oh, this is okay. what you ah, need to okay. do to get yeah. back into the team. Yeah. So he didn't communicate. He just cuts players. you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. I knew that was going to be a problem yeah. Yeah. because not, not because I know the Dragons boys, I don't know them, yeah. but just as humans, as rugby league players, you're going to get the best out of your, your team yeah. is if your communication is on point. Exactly. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If the boys buy into... You know the system that you're implementing. Yeah. yeah. If they know their, if they know their role, I don't think the Dragons boys this Joey, year knew their job. That's like with any job, like communication's key. If you're, if you're not, gonna, if you're not going to communicate to your workers, 100%. they're not going to do the job right. You but know this, what I mean? but this yeah. is why rugby league is so simple. Yeah. Right. You always say it's a simple always, game. It's, it's such a simple game. game. Say that, yeah. Yeah. Right. Why is it a simple game? Is yeah. because people always overthink it. Oh, it's yeah. the NRL. Yeah. Oh, and they look at the players like yeah. you know they're out of space aliens. No, these boys were boys like you, like yeah. me, yeah. that when we were young, they wished and dreamed. Yeah. yeah. They're living a dream. Yeah. They're humans. They have feelings, right? They have thoughts. Mate, yeah. they're like they're just like us. Oh yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. So like the point I'm trying to make is like in, in yeah, it's the NRL, but it's like any business. Yeah, exactly. Run and you can run an NRL team the same way you run 
you know, your corner shop. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. family run corner shop business. Your, your construction company. You know, your marketing and media team. Yeah. Mate, if you, run, if you implement the same things that a successful marketing business have implemented yeah. into an NRL team, you're going to get the same results. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's all yeah. business, end of the day. It's the, way, it's the way you run it. But, like, back to your point about that grit, that dragon show, 8 4 half time. It was. Yeah. But no, 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 honestly, like, put in perspective, this team is coming eighth. Dragons are coming, what, 15th? Okay, so let me tell you, Fuck, but look at the, the gap. Because the Dragons, they're not playing for this year. Yeah. It's done. They're playing for yeah. about, um, Shane Flanagan. They know Shane's watching. Yeah. 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 Right? Shane's come in, right? And again, like, we're going to talk about the Dragons a bit later, so I don't want to give too much mm. away. Yeah. But Shane's come in yielding the axe. Yeah. yeah, he's ready. He's right, ready. he's not scared. Yeah, he's yeah. already told players that are already uh, that are still contracted for 2024, 25, uh, yeah. and he's told them, "Feel free, look somewhere else. Yeah. You're not going to play next yeah, year." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. He's, he's so seen, these yeah. boys know if yeah. I don't perform, I could be next. Yeah, exactly. So that's why they're performing for ne- the, the coming season. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's right. So man. yeah, and they're showing Rabideau's up. They're struggling to find form. Hopefully, they'll be in the finals. But next game, Warriors continue their dominance. Well. In the NRL, third still on the ladder, 30-22 to Tigers. I, I'm not saying well because of Warriors, well because of Tigers. Mate, the fight they put up in that game, like they lost it um, midway through the game. Yeah. I think it was Stefano Ot- Otsukamanu, Otsukamanu got yeah. penalised yeah. without the elbow, yeah, yeah. whatever it was. It ruined their momentum. But towards that back end of that game, they Tigers kept picking up. They, they, they kept coming like, back. Full you know force. what? Think about that. Like a lot of these teams are putting fight. And just quickly about the Bulldogs. Dragons, look at them. Look at Tigers. And they're not getting smashed, but Bulldogs are getting smashed every yeah. single yeah. week. Yeah. So like talking about that Tigers again, does it reflect where they are on the ladder? Said, we'll get into exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. But about this game, 12, 16, half time. Yeah, like they put it. And again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what I said about the Dragons. Last on the ladder versus fourth on the ladder. Yeah, exactly. well, where they third third, 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 third on the ladder, even worse for for them. Yeah, like, yeah. Honestly, but they, they got the win. But honestly, is that are they are they pull, are they pulling back on like on their attack against yeah, Tigers yeah. against the lower teams? Maybe I don't know. They don't wanna Unless they don't want to injure players or whatever. Players. But like, mate, Tigers, mad. Look, props Tigers to them, are doing man. the best they can. Like Dan Lor- Dan Laurie had an amazing it. He game. Smashed it, yeah. Um, He's off to uh, Penrith too. Yeah, so that's yeah. a big recruit. Uh, that, is a, that's a, that is an amazing Massive recruit. recruit. And yeah. back that, about the Dylan Welesniak try, yeah, man, no. I, I don't think it was a try. Yeah, but anyways. When you look at all the other decisions, yeah. that should have not been a try. Yeah, Preston wasn't a try, so yeah. It's been two weeks and you can see the inconsist- inconsistency again from the refs. So yeah, yeah. yeah, big win for Warriors. Roosters, a big win. If they want any chance of getting into the top eight, they beat that was Dolphins. A game, man. Yeah, it was boring game, 30 yeah. to 14. It was nil nil up until like 25 yeah, minutes yeah, in the game. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, Dolphins yeah. had a good crack at it, but. Roosters weren't that re- that they weren't that good in the first half, but second half they came they into they picked their form up and they won the game. Joe, Joe, yeah, look, if Roosters are playing any other team other than the Dolphins, they, they, lose, that. Oh, yeah, they yeah. lose that game yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. For sure, right? Um, Dol- Dolphins bit disappointed. I actually saw today where they're sitting on the ladder. Yeah. They fell off big time. They've fallen off, but look, it was always going to be the case because they don't have coming. the depth, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. They have a great starting lineup, yeah. right? We always complain, like well, I'm always telling you, is the bench is so important. Mm. But imagine not only not having a bench, right, but not having, you know, first grade quality oh, top yeah. thirty squad, they're, they're which they don't have. Few players yeah. are injured in their team or whatever. Like had injuries throughout the year. Hundred percent. So yeah, yeah like it's gonna it's gonna take time for them to be, up, be, be up yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But yeah, Roosters. Not sold on them at all. You don't reckon? Uh, that won't make the eight. No, no, no. no, no. Even, I even heard, They've even if they win run. every single game, their points differential, yeah. Yeah. Right. whatever, lean They're them not in, not right. in They the just yeah. need to rely on other teams to drop points because you look at that, they got Parramatta next week. Yeah. Them Broncos. I think they might lose that even without Mitchell Moses yeah. because their teams just haven't been performing. 100%. And then they got Dragons and Tigers, I'm pretty sure. Do they have Dragons? Or not sure I, I'm actually not sure. I think they got an easy run. Easy run, yeah. But even though if they win them, they can't make it. So. Yeah. Next game, Melbourne, Hammer, Raiders, 48 to 2. Well, not even a try score. Get a try. Lucky they got a point. Raiders. I always say, when you're going to get smashed, you need yeah, at least, at least pull it, get a conversion. Whether get it be a, a field goal, goal anything. Whatever it is. Man. I feel Storm are hitting form again. Nah, I, I don't know. I think 48 2 is I'm a big with, statement. I'm with you, Samuel. I think they're hitting form. I'm with you. No, I've what seen, do you think, Joey? I've not seen sold. This, no, no, not sold on Storm. I've seen this so many times from Melbourne where they suffer a big defeat. Who'd they lose last week? It was a big defeat. Penrith? Nah, no. they had. Oh, no, I'll check. I'll check. Knights, Knights. 
Knights. Yeah, Mel- Penrith, I told you, oh, 26-6. Yeah. Yeah. They've always went to this, suffer a big defeat, then they go smash the next team. The week after, same thing happens. They'll lose so it. I'm not sold on them. Like yeah, so that, that, that's a Bellamy effect. Yeah. yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah. Um, he hates losing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, when they do get pumped, they always bounce back well. Yeah. Um, which everyone knows. But um, the consistency. I, I don't know. Like in in, in twenty in twenty twenty one, their win percentage was eighty percent. Yeah. In twenty twenty two. No, sorry. In twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one, it was eighty. Both years was eighty percent. In twenty twenty two, they were sitting at sixty seven percent. Well, well, big big. They're big currently goal. sitting at sixty one percent. Yeah, man. So the declining. So of the- they are in the top four. Yeah. Right. But I feel because of the next four in the top eight, the big gap. They time. haven't been winning. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The only team in the bottom half of the top eight has been Newcastle. That's on a run. Yeah. 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 Souths in eighth position, losing a lot. They haven't been doing well. Yeah, Cronulla, they've been in a in poor form. Yeah. They just won last week. I think it was what, they were like lost a couple on a trot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Then you got Canberra as well. They've they've, they've choked the last few yeah, weeks. Yeah. Para, Paras losing. Like Paras losing. Roosters are losing. Roosters. Talk so about Melbourne, they've won fifty percent of their last six games. So that's three wins out of six. So again, they're not being. In, they've been very inconsistent. Very inconsistent, but they're lucky. The only reason why they're in the top four is because there's no other team really that's coming yeah, after them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Sharks have dropped form. Everyone underneath yeah, them's losing. Yeah, and it's weird that you'd think, it's it's weird that these top four teams are winning, and then you got a big gap of five to like ten who are fighting for the eight, but they're like, they're losing still. Like you know, that's yeah. that's what I when I said earlier, s- uh, ten weeks ago, mate. But from first to fourteenth, like four there was points. a six point yeah. difference. Yeah, it was yeah, crazy, right? It was crazy. Yeah. Now, from you know first first and second are locked. Yeah. Like I don't think third and fourth yeah, can, yeah, can even catch them. Top two's done. Top, yeah. top two, three is done. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Melbourne are almost there for fourth. Fourth, yeah. I don't think anyone can touch them there. You look yeah. at the ladder. Let me get just quickly. So check top four's yeah, pretty much ladder. confirmed. I yeah. I got, got it. Yeah, you got the ladder. So Melbourne are currently on thirty-two. They're only two points behind um, Warriors with two points difference, just two points behind them on the points differential. Then Sharks is thirty points, and Raiders are thirty points. So I don't think Knights will catch up to Melbourne and Bunnies. So yeah, Sharks and Raiders still in the top four, top four race. But yeah, I think I Melbourne feel, will I get. I feel Raiders will, will have a job. dramatic drop off. Like, yeah, they're probably. They're I, I, I don't think that was. I don't think they'll stay in the eight. I, I, I don't know. Joey, who do you reckon makes the eight? Cowboys will make it. I think Cowboys. Yeah. I think yeah. Cowboys but too. To tell you who's gonna drop out, it's hard. Like to just talk. looking at it here, Cowboys on twenty eight. Cronulla, Canberra on 30, and you've got Newcastle 29, Souths 28. Yeah. yeah. From Cronulla to Souths, they're not safe. Yeah. Yeah. So Cronulla, Canberra, Newcastle, Souths, if they don't watch out, because Cowboys are taking one of their spot. Um, I just don't know who. They're taking Raiders. You can't lose 48 to 2 and not even yeah. score. The, the only points were in the first five minutes of the game. Exactly. They didn't even put yeah, up a fight. Two points, yeah. That, that's bad. That, that was two points. That wasn't even a try. Yeah, and they're, they're apparently in the eight. Biggest pretenders, Cowboys yeah. takes their spot. Well, you know what? The dogs, if they want to do anything this year, right next week you've got Raiders. Yeah, yeah let's let's and move on to the dogs game. Oh, got that's a, that's the last game yeah, of the yeah, round. We got yeah. smashed forty-two to six. Yeah, expected. I was actually confident that would get some sort of revenge because you look at Cowboys got yeah, hammered sixty-six eighteen. Yeah. They then they back. beat them 72, 74, nil. 74 nil. And I thought maybe we can replicate something like that. If you watch the vlog, we got like, this is the first time in a while. I was actually hopeful. Yeah. We're getting a while. We're getting yeah, s- we're, we got pumped revenge. the last time. We want revenge. Surely the boys don't want to lose by a like, big honestly, score again. Like, <laughs> Whatever happened, happened like far out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do- think they care about revenge yeah, well, look, or anything. We're going nah, to just, we're care. gonna delve in that later. But Bulldogs, for me, have been the worst team this year. I, I, out of every single oh, yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. As a Bulldogs fan, I think so. They've been the worst team. Like, I don't want to put emotional value to it. Because like, We've th- we've been through this emotional yeah, yeah. roller coaster, and like it's it's easy easy to be like yeah we've been the worst team, but like if we take all the biased opinions aside and emotions aside, looking at it from a footy perspective, neutral fan, we are the, the worst, worst team, team in the, this whole league. Yeah, look, I think you you guys have been a bit too hard on yourself. Yeah, yeah. all right, I'm, I'm I, I wouldn't say that. Think, you don't right? think so? for me? Yeah, for me, Tigers. You guys always knew you were in rebuilding stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. I think. The, the false hope was the, the major signings yeah. that you had. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone automatically thought, but it's going to click. Yeah. 
because we've got a gun player from here, gun player from there. You know, let's buy four or five gun players, put them together, and that's the recipe for success. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you now, that's not. No. Right? Yeah, you're right. Um, you can go get Andrew Johns, and I'm talking Andrew Johns 2002, like that era. Prime, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's in his peak. Yeah. Right? Put him as your halfback, dogs will still sit in third last position. I mean, I can yeah. guarantee you that. Right? Not even Andrew Johns and an immortal yeah. can save this side. In overnight, yeah, you're it's not right. going to happen. Yeah, for me, the biggest, and you, you guys are going to like this because I know that um, your hatred for them. My biggest disappointment, as a, if I was a supporter of them, para. would be para. Yeah, yeah. Like for my team to make a grand final one year, right, mm. and then not to make the eight the following yeah, year. Yeah, that's a big job, yeah, right? It, it is a big job. That that's that's an unsuccessful season. Yeah. Right, and if you look at their signings, right, and who they lost, yeah. who did they really lose? Reid Reid Money, right, and Papa Liti. Yeah. That's it. Right, it wasn't really much. The spine is still, besides Money, still there. The spine's still there. Yeah. That them buying Hodgson's Hodgson, Bad um, Hod- Hodgson, Hodgson, yeah, Hodgson, Hodgson, Hodgson yeah. from Canberra, worst signing ever. Because he's oh, looking yeah. injured now. Again, right, well he. They, when they he was injured when they signed him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now Brendan Hands uh, hand is uh, there. Look, and he's yeah. going, he's going well. He's, I, I actually like say, him. Uh, they got Lussick, 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 um, Lussick, They brought yeah. him from England. Yeah. He's Joey mid Lussick. mid-season he's been, transfer. He's been good. Um, um, he's been good as well. But yeah, because when I when I when I mentioned about Bulldogs like being the the worst team, I think because I don't think not. I, to be honest, I didn't expect us to be 14th. Yeah, and me too. We got smashed 56-10 to Rabbitohs. 36 to list four goes Eels, on. 42-4, 66-0. So in a way, I've just that's why I've said like the results wise, we've been yeah. Like, been there's no signs in anywhere. We'll get into it a bit yeah, when yeah, we talk about yeah. dragons and tigers. Right. But about that Knights game, we're in that game up until Pangai decides to offload and make an error. Yeah. And then Gagai scores off that yeah. try uh, with Kikau yeah, and yeah, Thompson. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two, two on one attack, Joey. Two on one attack. They couldn't even stop this bloke. The, the, the bloke walked, walked through him. Yeah, yeah through look, him. it's the first like, five minutes were good. Did you they they look solid. Yeah, I, I solid. watched yeah, it. They look very solid. It. Right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But I'm not, again, let's save it for yeah. when yeah. we Later, get to yeah. it. But a losing culture yeah. is like a cancer. Yeah. Mm. yeah, exactly. It is so hard to get rid of. Yeah. yeah. When you've when you're in that losing rut, when you're in that hole, and I'm talking like from experience. Yeah. Like it is so hard. Right for a pass to just stick, yeah. You know, just a standard, you know, one off the hip, yeah. You know, just hitting the A defender, yeah. A, si- a simple ball that you've done your whole life, yeah. When you're losing, they don't stick, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we'll look at each other. We're in the <coughs> sheds. We're down by ten or sixteen, and we're going, mate, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but it's exactly like momentum. Yeah. You know when a team's got momentum in That's a game and you're waiting for it we haven't had that. to the switch, wheel, the wheels to turn. right? Yeah. And it doesn't switch. Yeah. It is so hard. We know it's happening. I, I guarantee you the Dogs players, when, when they're on the back foot and the team is rolling them, yeah. you guys are on the sideline losing it saying, yeah. we're fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can guarantee you being in the moment yeah. and, and feeling it and watching it happen – it is the most frustrating feeling you could you could ever feel. Oh yeah, right. It, it, it is, is, yeah. is it, it is disgusting to be a part of yeah. because you know it's happening. You're trying to change but it, can't. but, but it you can't. can't. Yeah, it comes to like to mentality and like you know the, what I mean. You said the yeah. culture, the losing culture. But that's what it is. Penrith yeah. on a bad day, they can have the worst day. Yeah, right. Still win. Let's say Penrith and the Dogs had the same caliber of players. Yeah. So you put Nathan Cleary in a Bulldogs jersey. Mm. You put Dylan Edwards in a Bulldogs jersey, right? So you got the exact same 13 players on the team. 13 are wearing para, uh, Penrith jerseys. 13 are wearing Bulldogs jerseys. Yeah. Penrith have a bad game, right? In their culture, exact same players, they they just win. Yeah. 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 They, they win the, the, the games they should have lost. Yeah. yeah. That's what premiership teams do. Yeah. They win games that they should have lost. And they're the yeah. ones that matter. Right? Yeah. They're the ones that matter. Yeah. But then let's, on this side, we've got the dogs. So you've got Nathan Cleary, Dylan Edwards, Luai, all in Bulldogs jerseys. Yeah. They're now in the Bulldogs culture. Yeah. 
the Bulldog system that you guys, and you're there in the rebuilding yeah, stage. Yeah. They'll play exactly the same as how they did in the Penrith jersey. They'll get pumped. Yeah. That's a great way of putting it. That is a great way of putting it. That is just the, the most simplest way to explain it to you yeah. that the boys aren't so much doing a lot wrong. Yeah. It's just when that losing culture, the losses find you. Yeah. yeah. They come looking for you. You don't yeah. know how to play. You, no, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. The, you lose, you know, the unlosable. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's where you guys are at. Yeah. yeah. It's not, I know you'll pinpoint it. You'll say, oh, it's, you know. It's in the it, middle it, or something. Savita Pangai yeah. Jr. will in it until he passed yeah. the ball. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. It looks like that. Yeah. But you know what? Fast forward three years down the track now. Right when the dog's culture is where it's supposed to be, yeah. you're sitting in the top six. You know, you're winning games. Yeah. They're solid. Yeah, I guarantee you, Tavita Pangua Junior is going to do the exact same pass he did against Newcastle. Guess what? It's going to stick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's going to stick, and you might score off it. Yeah, yeah. who and, knows? And then that's yeah. a problem. But like I think the last four years, we haven't even got three wins in a row. Yeah, yeah. That's how the bad. max we've yeah. got is probably so two. That's to Joey's point. Losing yeah. culture, they yeah, don't know how to win. It's yeah. hard. It's hard. To it's place hard. To it's stick. Very, very hard. But like about that game, th uh, we're getting bad memories of the last time. Thirty oh, nil yeah. half time was the exact same score. Exact same score. The first time around, sixty six exactly. nil. Yeah. We're, you yeah, go, we're go watch the vlog if you haven't watched it. We're like, oh, that's it. Yeah, we're that's it's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. Serrata, like Serrata mentioned, like we'll talk about it soon. But he goes. 30 nil, and but yeah, I was happy. Second half, it was that only beat us 12 6. Yeah. But you can't think like that. I know. It, it, they slapped They're trying to think six. of the positives or whatever. Yeah, it's like, we're like, what do you say about um, no the best positives. training week he's ever had? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that. How, we'll, that, that pissed me off we'll in a way. We'll talk about that soon. We'll so yeah. quickly do quick fire tips. Just quick yeah, we'll quick move on to tips. quick fire tips. Uh, Cowboys, Sharks, um, Cowboys. I'm going Sharks. I said Cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys? Yeah. Oh, okay. Next game, Warriors, Manly. Warriors. Yeah, Warriors. 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 I wouldn't be surprised if they put up a fight, but mainly. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. they probably will. They're fighting, for They're fighting for top eight. Yeah. Next game, Eels and Roosters. I'm going Roosters. <laughs> I'll go Roosters because without Moses. I said Roosters. I'm going Eels. Yeah. Eels? Yeah. Home advantage too? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Mitchell Moses is yeah, not I playing. Think, you know what? I know, but I think Dylan Brown, it's his chance to, to step up yeah. and, to like and repay the boys. What he's done, yeah. yeah. It, to be, he, he's derailed the team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what I, that's what what I put it down to. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you say that on purpose? Derailed? Why? Oh, the D bags. That was just his name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't yeah, see, I it see it that way. I said it that way. But yeah, uh, that's a good point. I think he the off field, off field problems always affect the club. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like I remember Bulldogs were, were, were heading into a good season. Dean Pay almost got us into the top eight. Then the Corey Heronara problem and the Ockenball. Stuffed us all up and yeah. we were struggling again. So Next yeah, game, that's we'll go point. Tigers, Dolphins. I think Dolphins will get the win. I think Tigers will cause a win. I think Tigers need a win. I'm going Tigers, bro. I'm, I'm saying Tigers. I'm going Dolphins. Tigers, the last few weeks, man, like they're putting up fights. Yeah, Look, Raiders, up. Warriors, top eight teams. I'm going to go Dolphins, but Tigers, no. they need a win. You know what? I'm going to say controversial. I'm going to say something controversial. Wait for a big win by Tigers. Wait. You wait. I don't care who's coaching Dolphins. No, I'm Tigers. Going, I'm going Dolphins. They're that close to getting a win yeah. and a big win. Next game, Titans, Penrith. Easy. Panthers. Penrith. Yeah. Oh, Penrith. 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 Yeah. 100%. Dragons, Melbourne. Huh. Melbourne. I said Storms, 100%. Melbourne, yeah, I yeah. say Melbourne, but you never know. Dragons could. Uh, Dragons have. Is that is that uh, a uh, Dragons home game? Yeah, home game. Yeah, is it Wollongong or Cogra? You don't know, Wait, man. Look at Melbourne's Wollongong. have had these moments. Yeah, you know what? I'll. Tip dragons. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, go, I'll go dragons. Joey's I dragons. I reckon we'll yeah. tip dragons today. <laughs> Look, we'll tip dragons. 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 Tip dragons. dragons. Sorry, Joey. I, I, only because <laughs> only because it's at Wollongong. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. Oh, I'll go yeah, dragons. I'm, I'm still Second sticking. last game, Knights Rabbitohs. I'm going Rabbitohs. I'm going to go Rabbitohs. I said Knights. No, I don't think. I don't think. I don't know about. I think they're streaking. The troll. The troll hasn't been clicking for this team. I think this is the game. I feel Knights since I've been on form. They're taking. I think this is they're the, taking it. I'm on bunnies. Their momentum's not gonna not gonna roll off until final series. Knights or Warriors, Joey. Um, is this who's home? Knights game? Rabbitohs, sorry. Oh, Knights. Ra um, it's their home ground. Knights. Um, Newcastle. Yeah, I'll go Newcastle. 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 And last game, Raiders. Bulldogs. Oh, Raiders. 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 Thirteen plus. Yeah. Yeah. Only. Only. I'll, I'll only say Raiders. Yeah. Ju just purely for the bounce back. Yeah. 
because Ricky Stewart is would have would have pumped them. Like it, and like it always happens against dogs. You always, always. You mentioned Bellamy hates losing. He hates losing. He hates losing. Oh, too. Yeah, he can't yeah. stand it. Yeah. So uh, quickly, we'll move on to who you got. Bill, you might want to call Facetime Anthony. Oh yeah. So Sam, you can update the scores quickly. Oh yeah. So Anthony the scores. Is coming the score on. now. Anthony fourteen. Me Shabal seventeen. And uh, Bill's twenty seven. Of course. So all right, let's go. we'll all go one point, Bill. Hey? Only one point. Oh, oh, you got one. Uh, one Everyone point got one point. Let's go also Alan first. Okay, so well, Bill um, I went 36-16 Raiders. Shabu, what I went 38-16. 38-16. What would you go, Joey? Well. The score. 42-18. Okay, 18. I was going to go at that too. That's go, Bill, yeah. what's your score? Bill, what do you reckon? Uh, I said, oh, it's calling. Oh, it's calling. Oh, one second. Screen and caught it. Uh, here we go. But what did you go? Internet. Score prediction. Yeah, Anthony. Pull it up. Say hi to everyone. Everyone's waiting for your return. His audio is down. <laughs> audio is now top. Hey, what do you got to say to the fans? But is it on loudspeaker? It's on loud. Wait, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me call you on Facetime. It's better. Yeah, Bill, what did you go score prediction? I said, "Fuck, what happened to my phone?" Oh, sorry, man. My phone's just nah, having a good. spasm. Um, sorry, Anthony. One second. One second. All right, I went. So I said, "Let's get all of ours we'll out of the way, and then we'll call them yeah. back." Oh, I said thirty-two to six Raiders. I feel, I feel it's gonna be a okay, big, yeah, a big smash. Massive. Um, any time try score, Joey. I'm gonna go Hopawadi. Hopawadi, yeah, that's a good shout. Um, I've went Jack Wyden any time. I went Hudson Young. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's good value. I, was, said, I was going to go Hopawada too. He's a good player. Yeah. Like but I, also I, f- yeah. I also feel so he's... Because Adokar's defending out of yeah, position. Yeah. yeah, he'll score. I, th- I really feel that that left edge is going to cop a belting on yeah, the weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, I said Rapana. Rapana? Okay. Wait, well, was this any time? Yeah, any time. Oh, okay. Um, first try scorer, Joey. First try scorer. I'll go Hopawadi again. Hopawadi. Yeah, put me yeah. that too. Yeah, um, I went Jordan Rapana, Bill. I said Jake Avrilla. Oh, you reckon dogs? I feel like first? dogs will get the first try and then we just fall off. Oh, that's how it's going to yeah, play out. Playing out like that. Uh, Bill, who did you say again? I said Jake Avrilla. Jake Avrilla. I'm telling you, like, under 10 minutes, we're going to get that first um, try. Man of the match, I'm going Corey Horsburgh. Shabell. Um, go give him. Oh, I'm trying to think. Um, Bill, who, man of the match. I said, um, bit of a weird one, Papa Lee. Yeah. Papali is it Papa, Papali, Papali or Papali? Which know. one is it? Is it the one from? I think it's Papa, Papali. There's two ways of saying it. So the Tigers one yeah. is Papali. Put me Corey Hawes, what's the man of the match? Who do you reckon? Uh, Elliot Whitehead. Elliot Whitehead. Fuck yeah. right. He's Put me guy. Jack Wyden. Jack Wyden, yeah. Ali and Jack Wyden. And finally, our Bill, um, bold prediction. I said, read money to be sent off. This bloke has been yapping for the past few weeks. Sent off or Simbin? Sent off. Off. I'm going to dumble down on it Just like how I pre- yeah. predicted Luai Because he's been talking A lot of rubbish lately I, I, I don't You know you know how I feel about Bro, Did Martin. you Did you uh, Did you see him And you know me I, I, I don't bag I don't bag players yeah, yeah, yeah But if I had a court case I would not be hiring Reed Money as my lawyer 100% Yeah So when Preston got done For that hip drop Yeah Did you hear his argument Yeah yeah What did he say <laughs> Yes He was like I understand it's a hip drop. <laughs> so he's arguing with the ref yeah. and basically admitted yeah. it's a hip drop. It's a hip drop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but he didn't, and I'm, I'm, I watched it about 10 times because yeah. there was a clip where it had the audio. Yeah. And I'm, I kept, I watched it about 10 times thinking, is this guy dead set? <laughs> and you know what? He was. Yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, like the Blake shouldn't be our captain. Like, no, personally, I, I, I reckon I I that I do not get. Like I, I don't get. I don't that. like to bag on players. I know I do a lot on this podcast, but Reed Marnie, my captain, I don't like him. Nah. get someone else. Nah, yeah, fair totally, enough. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Um, Shabal ball prediction. Oh, went Tapanese first try. Um, just any time try score. Okay. Um, I went Jack White and two tries, two tri- two assists. Yeah. And Joey, bold prediction. Hopawati, hat trick. Oh, that was my second option. So you think he's going to have a big game? To, uh, <laughs> big game. That was okay. my second option. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Bill, if Anthony. Let me call, let me call Anthony now. I think it's better. I think it's better on the phone. I just normal FaceTime? phone. Normal. Nah, it's normal. 
He's on speaker. And for all you punters out there, Hopawadi is paying $21 for a hat trick. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, gamble responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> you going to put your house on it? <laughs> nah, <I won't. laughs> nah, bro. I've got to make sure you don't lose yours. <laughs> nah, I'm, don't worry. I'm I'm I have to back it. you up. See, oh, yeah, I got in a fight with the guy. I remember I was, I was, not, I was tipsy outside of Canberra Legs. Yeah. I don't remember that whole conversation. Remember that bloke oh, I was the saying? Bar, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, bloke fool was like, "All right, if you if you win next he'll year, you he'll tickets. buy me grand final tickets." I think we can all we can <laughs> all agree. He's like, he's like some, some random bloke. I um, he's a big doggies fan. I was like, "Mate, I was I was half off my head. I was yeah. drinking too many, you know." I was like, "Mate, put your house in 2024." He's like, "We win 2024, I will buy grand final tickets." So if he's watching now, you gotta <laughs> it's, it's gonna come in my mail, all right, <laughs> at my house because I'm not gonna lose it. I, I think we Anthony. can all put If it doesn't answer We'll don't put our uh, Anthony Anthony on it. Anthony oh. Oh. Why isn't his phone No, nah, it's not going to work now not, Let me call him on um, if he does, Did he send you your, The who you got or he nah, If not I'll just write it down later If it doesn't answer All good I think his phone on, his, his number doesn't work in Lebanon, Nah it doesn't does work it? anymore oh, Let me see Just message him about the who you got Anthony yeah. What's happening Yeah Yeah can you hear, yeah, can you hear me Wait wait one sec can you hear me now? Yeah, you yeah. can hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, you can't put on the video? Hey? <laughs> now, but that video is too laggy, bro. It cuts out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, they can hear you, bro. But they can hear you. You're, you're, you're on the mic. What are you going to say to the fans out there? Mate, I miss everyone uh, back at home in Sydney, bro. <laughs> but you know what, bro? I'm enjoying the life, bro, right here. Like, yeah? Because I'm just having the ball, bro, with the family and everyone. But because... I'm getting back there very, very soon, and I can't wait to see all the fans, bro. Yalla. So that's it, that's it. Yalla, I'll be there we can't wait. They're all, they're all missing you on the vlogs and the podcast. It's not the same without you, man. Uh, we got, we, we, but we got, we got a better replacement, but we got Joey here. <laughs> nah, it's all right, because I was watching the vlog this morning, bro, and I saw your reaction and Shabba's reaction. And Shabba's like, bro, Anthony always says, uh, get rid of the bunker system. And that's right. <laughs> if you're at that game, Anthony, if you're watching that game with us, I'm telling you, man... Oh, crazy, crazy. Yeah. You, you would have lost your head. Who would have ended up in jail? <laughs> <laughs> Joey's like, you would have ended up in jail. <laughs> bro, I would have been in jail by now, bro. But I was looking at the scores yesterday and I was like, this can't be right. I'm like, bro, and I was calculating the whole points. It was like 102 points. I was yeah, like, man, yeah, it's yeah, craziness. It's crazy. But anyways, Anthony, we're doing uh, our who, who you, you got, got for score. Raiders versus Bulldogs. Say score prediction. So score All predictions. Right. Who do you got? Score predictions. Who's winning? Is that live now on the camera? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's going to be a tough game. I, I think, you know what, I think Canberra's going to win, bro. I think they're going to win by, like, 20 points. So yeah. I would say Canberra 28 to 10 or something. All right, all right, yeah, that's a, that's a reasonable okay, score. Okay, tell him any time. Any time try scorer. Uh, Jordan Rapana. All right. Yeah, so um, we'll first try scorer. First try scorer. Um, I'm going to mix it up. So I'm hoping maybe Blake Wilson, first try scorer. Yeah, okay. all right. Uh, man of the match. Man of the match. Uh, probably Jack Wyden. Wyden. Yeah. All right. Okay, and pro- bold prediction. And your bold prediction. <laughs> what's what's your be like? Ten line assists and yeah. this and that. Uh, I don't know, bro. I think maybe uh, Pangai Junior sent off. Like okay, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> he he sent off. I said I said read money to get sent off. So it's either one. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll tell him thanks, bro. But um, anyways, Anthony, nice uh, speaking to you, man. I'm sure it. I'm sure the fans miss your head and your voice too. Um, come back with man. heaps of stories, yeah. Oh, bro, I'll, I'm leaving all the stories with me till I get back to Sydney, and I'm gonna <laughs> explain it to everyone on the bloody pod. <laughs> <Yalla, laughs> man, yalla. He's gonna laugh at this story, bro. Yeah, you got a big story. No, no, it's a funny story, bro. I'm gonna tell it to you. What Do I you find a missus here over there? Do you find a missus here over there? Yeah, well, <laughs> for me today, you'll find out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> far out. Casanova. <laughs> Might be a bloke. You've already told us. <laughs> Make sure it's not a lady boy, yeah? I've already met the girl, bro. I've already met the girl and met her family and everything. So oh, okay, that's all right. That's all good. Right. good. That's good. Anyways, Anthony, good speaking to you, man. Bro, before I go, to all the fans, make sure we're hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of the bloody yeah. year. And we need that right now, man. Tell so them to subscribe. Make sure you Tell like, them. comment, and subscribe. That's it. That's it. Anyways, Anthony, take That's it easy, put man. Your house on 2024. That's yeah, it. Put yeah. your house on 2024. <laughs> done, done. <laughs> Anyways, man, take it easy. All right. Tell everyone say bye, and uh, we'll see you all soon, eh? <laughs> yeah. See you soon, man. Uh, see you later. Yeah, no, all right, bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, that's a wrap-up now for Anthony. We're going to quickly move on. Jared Croker announces his retirement at the end of this season. 
Uh, 305 games 50, across 15 seasons, scoring 135 tries. Yeah, man, Do what a crew. Big loss for the, the Raiders. The greatest player that never played Origin. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. That's, that's true. That he deserves, he yeah, probably like, deserves at least an Origin. One, never had his chance. But one series or something. Yeah, but like crazy, crazy career, man. Like was, yeah. Even Ricky Stewart was talking uh, about his careers. So like he's going to always be a Canberra Raiders Of, of course he's coming against, returning back against the Dogs two times this yeah, season. Right. And look, watch them smash. They're going to smash us, bro. The, watch the, home, the homecoming game. That? Wait. Yeah, He's played 305 games. That's uh, 15. That, yeah. Oh, you've mentioned yeah. that. 15 oh, seasons, yeah. 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 yeah, but we thought we'll quickly mention it, Jared Croker. Um, uh, good luck in retirement, yeah, man. Yeah. Good luck like, it's hard to, oh, it's just, hard to get like yeah, 300 games. Quick story. So in 2008, yeah. I think you boys were probably still in nappies. I was, I was you on. Yeah. 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 Pro- yeah. Um, the Toyota Cup just came out in that yeah. year. Yeah. And Jared Croker was in the Canberra team with Josh Dugan and had a couple of other, Daniel Vito, a couple of other players. Uh, they won the comp that year. All right. Jared Croker, you just could see in Toyota Cup, he was first grade material. Yeah. Oh, him yeah. him and Dugan. They you just, just they, they, they stood out yeah. a class above the rest. Yeah. At the at the age of nineteen years yeah. old. Damn. You can just see someone you, the way yeah. they play. You just you knew they were gonna have a big career. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um the reason why he's played more and you saw it in Dugan as well. Yeah. But the only difference is was once on an idiot. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I was trying. I was trying to find a, a, you know, an <laughs> appropriate matter, word. Man. Doesn't but, matter. Um, Croke will be most one of the most respected players. Yeah. Absolute gentleman. Yeah. Right. He, he he gentleman, gentleman of the game. Like how good's Hodkinson? He reminds me yeah, of Hodkinson. Exactly yeah. No drama around him. Yeah. No nothing. Did you ever meet Croker? Like person? No, no, no. I don't no. know him. Never yeah. met him. But yeah. I'm just. You, you can yeah. tell. Yeah. The guy was never. You know, he never gave a headline. Yeah. Other than what he produced on the footy field. Exactly. Yeah, man. Yeah. That, that's yeah, a great um, way of putting his we career, wish man. Croker the best of retirement after this season. Hopefully, he can probably get sent off with the grand final ring. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, maybe. You never know. And Jack Hopefully. Wyden too. So there's two yeah. to play for. Yeah, yeah. So who yeah, knows? Yeah. It might push him. But well, now boys, I'm uh, moving on. NRL's heading to Vegas. The opening matches have been announced. It's going to be the Roosters and the Rabbitohs, and then the Manly uh, take on I the Broncos. Wait. I can't wait for Vegas. It's going to be good. I can't wait. Oh, I'm, I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. Nah. Let's go. <laughs> nah. Let's go. Why? NRL's opening over there. Nah. Come on, Come on man. I'm not actually. I'm gonna be honest. You're not gonna like my response. Yeah. It's a rubbish idea. You reckon? To, I to go like to Vegas yeah. or, or about this? About to go to Vegas. NRL to go to Vegas. NRL to go. Okay. Us going. I was gonna say. <laughs> All right. What happens in Vegas? Say. Hey, you know what they say? Stays, Stays in, in Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> have a chat to your cousin for me. We're trying to make it happen. We'll make it happen. Shall we go to the casino? It'll bull rush it over there. So what, what do you reckon? Strip clubs. Like rubbish ID, night? bro. You don't reckon? Rubbish ID. But yeah. good for promotion. I reckon it's good. What Promotion for who? For what? Yeah, like, they're not going to watch it in America. For what? No, 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 America, no, America, yeah. America, right? You know the whole, our whole country? Yeah. Australia? Yeah. Put aside New South Wales. That's like a state Australia in is a state in oh, America. America. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They're not going to hear about it. The yeah, only no, people I that agree. are going to hear about it is the state that it's played in and not even the whole state yeah in the actual area so for example sydney say they take it to vegas or say they take it to like it's like saying bankstown yeah so not the whole of sydney's going to be watching new south wales going to be watching yeah. this game yeah. exactly. it's going to be the one pocket area yeah that's going to watch the game right but I, I beg to differ, Joey. You know why? Because you see a lot of these Americans online, like even like British or like Holland techers. Yeah. Like they get they they get to watch rugby league. They're like, oh, no padding and oh, big hits. Oh, it's actually I interesting. I get it. That's that, that's those guys that do their reaction, reaction videos. Exactly. Then. All right, I get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Imagine that times but, at whole stadium. Okay. Get the. Don't get me wrong. They'll probably sell out the stadium. Yeah. They're gonna spend big money on marketing. Yeah. yeah. Right. They're going to give out a lot of free tickets, bro. Yeah, I reckon yeah. they will. Don't forget, yeah, this right. is a business. You're right. Right? They're not going to tell you. Mm. They'll probably say the stadium fits, you know, 100,000 people. They'll give 30,000 free tickets, bro. Yeah, they would. Right? I reckon they would. Uh, for me, what's right? They do it there. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. When we come back, then what? Yeah. I, I reckon I reckon the game, personally, I feel like this is a big moment for NRL. I, I personally, like, it's never been done before. It'll get a lot of new eyeballs onto the sport. Uh, if, if, you compare, if you compare, if you no, 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 no. I'm gonna compare the boxing scene. I love my boxing. Boxing enthusiasts like the proper boxing. Like it, it it's it, it has died off a bit. YouTube boxing came in, brought the young people's eyes to the sport. Not the but same example, different. but similar. It's similar, man. You get different. these ten year olds now watching, interested in actual fights, like the actual fighters. 
Yeah. Uh, if you if you if you go to the Americans and they watch your sport, half of them don't even know what NRL is. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. Maybe all of them. Look, but you get, you get honest, their eyes on the sport. Well, look, honest, I get it. It's probably going to be most of the fans from Sydney, Australia. Nah, going to everyone's on. Yeah, you'll find it, bro. It'll be a Bankstown reunion. All the Lebos will be down there. But Joey, man, I can't. Sorry, Bill. At the end of the day, the NRL haven't got it right in Australia. Exactly. You know what? You're right on that point. Yeah. Right. You know what? We've had three teams. Exactly. Right in um, the Gold Coast. Mm. Just one. now, the Titans they're starting to get it right. Yeah. There was the Gold Coast Chargers. Yeah. Right. Then there was the Gold Coast Seagulls. Yeah. yeah. Again, this is my time. Yeah. yeah. You guys, bro, you weren't even a drop in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Seagulls in 1992. Yeah. Bro, as an eight year old then, I remember them. Yeah. yeah. Right. It took three. Franchises for them to finally get the Titans right. Yeah. yeah, they had the Western Reds, so we haven't even established rugby league in Western Australia yet. Yeah, yeah. right. In Melbourne, Melbourne is the capital, st- the capital city of sport. Yeah, sorry, Bill. No, nah, you're all good. It's the capital city of sport. Yeah, bro. Melbourne, they love their sport, bro. Yeah, yeah. AFL right. Especially, but a- AFL, a-, a normal game, right? Sold out. Ninety thousand sold, yeah. sold out, right? Melbourne Storm and they're big. They're like decent size in Melbourne, yeah. but they're getting their twenty twenty five thousand. Yeah, they yeah. still can't get ninety thousand in Melbourne for Melbourne. Yeah. And Melbourne are successful. Yeah, yeah. right. So, yeah. We, who else, bro? Adelaide. They tried Adelaide Rams. It didn't work. Yeah. The only club, the only, uh, Warriors. Like, sorry, they've been in the in the comp since nineteen ninety five. Yeah. They've made one grand final, right, in thirty years. Yeah. And maybe like right. a few final yeah. series. You know what I mean? A couple of final series. I like think AFL I was gonna would say. become... Yeah, so AFL, if they went to um, Las yeah, Vegas, Las I Vegas. think it would be bigger I'll, I'll have a better chance. But yeah, don't 100%. forget, you know AFL's marketing and their strategies. and Bro, they've got a cracker team. Yeah. They bro, do. the AFL shits on the NRL. They do all right. They do all right. They're underrated because I was, if you look at NRL back in the days, like um, the, the stadiums used to get packed big yeah. time. Mm. Like big time. But now I think- It's fallen off a bit. It's fallen off. Yeah. The refs have turned off people from the game. They're not bothered watching the decisions they're making. So I think that's- But the, speaking like, of, yeah. Well, we they're taking like a toll on the, yeah. the whole game. So yeah. But speaking of NRL going to Vegas, they've, as you said, they've announced the teams. So you got Roosters versus Rabbitohs in the first, I think that's the opening one. Which is a good game. Yeah. And then they got, which is- Bit of a controversial one, Manly versus Broncos. All right, so even though I don't agree with the whole concept, yeah, right, they have still picked the worst teams. I reckon. I reckon Roosters <laughs> Rabbitohs is fine. Yeah. Roosters Rabbitohs is fine, but Manly shouldn't be there. Okay, you pick maybe Panthers versus Broncos. Panthers that way, they, Panthers you showcase Eels. the best of the NRL. They, that's what you know they what needed I mean? to do, yeah. right? Even the Roosters, sorry, yeah, but what they've what what have they produced this year? Exactly. Again. Yeah. Look, the NRL, sorry to say, is a big boys club. Mm. Yeah. All right. So Uncle Nick Politis yeah, yeah. Exactly. was not gonna miss out on a chance yeah. so to go boys. to go to the to the States. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right? That's why they're there. Yeah. But other than that, what what are you showcasing? The team that's coming thirteenth. Exactly, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, if you're really serious about growing this sport, yeah. right, you go off the top four <laughs> ladder. So you know what they should have done at the beginning of the year the to give an incentive yes, to right. the teams. Before round one even started, yeah. mm, right? Yeah. The NRL should have gone to every club, sent out like a media release yeah. to say, right, guys, these, this is our intentions. Yeah. We want to go to the States next year. The top four teams go to the States. Yeah. Beautiful. That, so that would have been amazing. Gets a That's exactly something. also like magic round. They should maybe they it. did. Maybe they did do it. No, they didn't because not every, not, not, unless, no one knew different, about it. Different regu- so like, I've, heard, yeah. I've heard that n- no club like, Got asked. Got asked, yeah. It's fine. only these clubs that, that got spoken to. But, why, like, but why Manly? I feel like I no, no, Manly no, Manly because yeah. of Hugh Jack. Yeah. But I, I, this is... But I that's what it is. Based Rus- off Russell Crowe. Yeah. Yes. Russell Crowe for the Rabbitohs. Nick yeah. Politis. Hugh Roosters. Jackman for Manly. Nick Politis for the Roosters. But right? Know. And Broncos, like, I don't know, maybe like, because... Uh, they're doing uh, good now. They're doing What's good the now. fullback's name again? Walsh. Walsh, because he's, he's gorgeous. Maybe. maybe. They might use him as the pin-up boy. He better be careful over there, but... Hey, but Joey, he better be careful over there. He's used to doing the white but, lines. But that's the other thing: <laughs> is the NRL in a position yeah. where we can afford a scandal? Mm, yeah. Because let me tell you, Imagine these boys, these boys can't handle themselves in Sydney. Nah, yeah. yeah. Take them to Vegas. Fuck, man. Right. Crazy. They're gonna be given some downtime. Yeah. Right. Because again, this is exhibition. Yeah. So they're not going there running hills. That's not exhibition. 
Oh, is that it's, it's round it's, one? It's round it's, one. It's round one. Oh, this is round yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. But my point is, be a time gonna what are they out. there for? Yeah. yeah. For how long for? Exactly. Yeah. Right? There's going to be a lot of drama. Like Bill said, I, I don't care. You're calling day? it round one. I'm calling it exhibition. Yeah. I'm going to stand by my words yeah. because, yeah, it's round one, but sorry, when you're in Vegas, right, Something's you gonna ain't going to be taking this like a round one clash. Yeah. No, no. Something's going to happen. Like we never hung over before. Hungover. Game when you have a lot of young it's blokes look, in Vegas, I hope it doesn't happen. Hour. It will happen. But I, yeah, look, I, I, I believe be mate, there's gonna, a scandal will come out of it. Yeah, no, no, no. 100% like. So and it's going to promote the. It it's we've going to promote the it. game in the wrong yeah. way now. Like how, and how Vegas good isn't, Vegas. isn't Manly? Um, what's that forward's name that got signed from? He left Brisbane. Oh, to oh, oh to no, Bell. no, he left Brisbane. Went, oh, he went to Man Lodge. 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 Doesn't Lodge play for Manly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know he has a criminal record in the states? No way. Yeah. Oh Shit. yeah. So he. He probably oh, what is he, 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 he had an allowed? issue there. He, he got done for um, break and enter and assault. Oh, oh my so gosh. can he so can he enter the state? Can he go? Yeah, that's that's. Did they idea. think of this before they picked him? Somehow they'll the NRL they should have based this off form. Imagine Panthers versus Broncos. Wow, this that would be good. See if you want if you, look if you want new eyeballs to the sport, you want to grow this game. You put the best versus the yeah, best. Yeah, hundred percent. You know I, I, I would be surprised if they rigged the games. Like back to your exhibition, like. Imagine, like, I'll, I truly wouldn't be surprised if they get all the teams in the back locker room, make it the best game ever, as in fix the game a bit. But I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. Yeah. I would not be surprised if that happens because, after all, their goal is to bring new eyeballs to the sport. And if you had, like, a if you have a blowout game, say Manly versus Broncos is a blowout game, how does that look for NRL? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. it's, it's, it's rubbish. But not what I work. think they base it on maybe is most viewed – um, teams yeah. that have been watched over the last two, three uh, yeah, years, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, bro. You got uh, for me. I can't see Parker and Garrick, yeah, mm. you know, yeah. promoting the yeah. sport. Yeah, yeah. Like Cherry they're Evans. solid players, right? Even Cherry Evans. Cherry Evans on the back end of his career, bro. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Manly, I get. Manly's I the worst get, team to put. Yeah, like I, I penalty, can't, penalty would have put clear. I don't see as, value as in that. Hundred percent. I'm, I'm surprised. Are not in that. Show, are not in that. You want to show them our game? Yeah, yeah. You want to show them? Well, Stephen Clyden's gone. But you want to show them the what best. a nuggety winger can do. Yeah. You know, those post-contact meters, yeah. right, that Toto does, yeah. right? You want to you want to showcase Nathan Cleary's kicking game. Probably the best player in the league right, right now. Because yeah. I can guarantee, you know, his kicking game. You know what? The only thing that will come out of this is our players will get poached by NFL teams. <laughs> yeah. I swear I was about to say it. Yeah? yeah. If they see Nathan yeah. Cleary kick a 40-20, yeah. I guarantee yeah. they'll be hitting him up to be a punter. Oh, yeah, for sure. Exactly, yeah. Lucky Matt Burden wasn't playing. Well, yeah, lucky that's, Burden. that's the other thing. Yeah. yeah. But Burden's apparently Bur Burden's been... Um, he's been advised. He's, yeah, he's been yeah. looked at yeah. Yeah. Well, by yeah, NFL right. teams. He's, he's even signed a new he's deal with the club. Yeah. Um, take it. But yeah, man, I think everyone's going to have their opinions on that. What's uh, If but, it's a good idea, the teams they've put yeah. in. But... Um, Oh yeah, but on that Ooh. we're talking. Oh, dude, that's lucky, lucky, lucky. Sorry, man. But on that we're talking about celebrities and the influence on NRL teams and the decisions yeah, to yeah. play them in Vegas. Well, we're doing, we're doing a little game. I thought uh, it would um, change it up a bit. Change it up a bit. It's been a while since we did a game. Um, so yeah, just um, celebrities. And we're just guessing the celebrities. If you boys wanted to, you got, you got your pens, or if you want to put it. Oh yeah, I can. Put it on the oh, so, we so you're gonna guess. So I've got celebrities on I'll the slideshow. Yeah. You're gonna guess which. And they're all teams they support. Okay, yeah. And we just, what's the best way of doing this? I'll put this here. All right. No, just, I, know if Joel I can, can hear it. it. Just name the. Person. All right, all right, yeah. all right. You'll you know. Yeah, I'll know. All right, let me just put it here. I'll show it this way. I'll tell no, you something. All right, first one Anthony Fiddle, the Blue Wiggle. Yeah, okay. Which NRL team does oh, he support? Who does he support? Ooh. I know this. Bro, he looks like a Melee supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? That's his, his head. Um, it looks like he's from the Northern Beaches. <laughs> so do we write it down and then you'll tell us the answer? Yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, I'll sorry. Okay. So write them down. Oh, it's only five, so. So what, Blue Wiggle? Blue Wiggle, which NRL team does he support? He's, and he's very vocal about this team, like everywhere. You got it? Wait, um, oh, no, I've got a feeling he supports this club. Thank God my daughters don't watch the Wiggles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love the Wiggles back in the day. It was the biggest yeah, okay, thing. Yeah, All right, ready? Next one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, next one. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, which uh, NRL team? Okay, next. All right, next one. Ian Thorpe, you know, the swimmer, yeah, Olympic uh, swimmer. Ooh, <laughs> uh, Fucking Joey's flying through this. Yeah, bro. You just can tell which team. 
Here you go. All good. Next one, John Howard. Uh, Johnny. That's Johnny. my boy. Prime. Prime Minister. No one beats him. Yeah. Next one sec. You got it? Here you go. All right, last one. Probably had a stinker. WWE Superstar Seamus. Do you know him? Never heard oh, of him, bro. WWE oh. Superstar. I know this. I know this. This is something like you'd easily guess, like hundred percent. Like he's he looks like this type of fan. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay. Oh, oh yes, yes, I know. You got it. No. All right, all right. Okay. Answers. All right. First one. Anthony Fiddle Blue Wiggle supports the Tigers. Oh, oh wow. Melbourne. So you want to expect it? Eh? He's very vocal. I, I think he wants to buy the Tigers. He said. Oh, I went man. I went manly. I went you went manly. What did you say? Melbourne. Strong. Rabbitos. No? Rabbitohs. Yeah. Fuck, all right. Yeah. I, I want to put it off. Like, he looks like a Rabbitohs man. Yeah, guy. I thought Rabbitohs. I think he looks like a Melbourne. Looks right. like Kevin Smith. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Who did you put? I put Bulldogs. Broncos. I put Souths. Souths. What'd you say, Bulldogs? Bulldogs. I don't know who let the dogs out. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, he's a Rabbitohs fan. Oh, my God. Yes. Got a, oh, no one put it? Tick for me. Oh, oh Joey got it. Had Souths. Oh, you got it, Joey? All right, so Souths, you both right? got it wrong? Yeah, all right. got it wrong. All right, Ian Thorpe. Eels. Eels. Roosters. You all got it wrong. What it's is Bulldogs. That? Oh, really? Yeah. really? Apparently, he's a doggies fan. He's going to put him. Wow. I mean, you went far off, rival club. Yeah. Um, John Howard. I said Dragons. I said Roosters. Dragons. You both are right. Yes. He's a big Dragon supporter. I had a feeling. You know what? Gave me because he said, oh, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said it's Dragons. All right. That's a, <laughs> all right last one WWE superstar, Seamus. Who'd you put? Bailey. Raiders. I had a Penrith. <laughs> no, Warriors fan. Warriors. Warriors. He definitely looks like a Warriors fan. Just his, his look. So no? Joey won that one. Joey, Joey won. won. He's so white. He's white, but he did, I don't know. He, he seems like a Warriors fan. The way he just so carries Joey himself. Joey got two ones. I'll take one, bro. That's, that's yeah, that's hard. fine. I'll take zero. Joey smashes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, zero, but um, bro. that but was yeah. that. Uh, um, next game. topic. Like that. We both support the two teams coming in the wooden spoon position oh, around yeah, that wow. position: Dragons, uh, Bulldogs, Tigers. Topic of the day. Quickly, um, we're gonna talk about who deserves the wooden spoon, but I'm gonna go read the stats from this season so far. And who really deserves it and if their performances really reflect where they are. So Tigers, 21 games, 12 points, 3 wins, 18 losses. They've scored 341 points and conceded 566 points with a points differential of minus 225. You look at Dragons, 21 games, 16 points, currently 15th position, 5 wins, 16 losses, 421 um, 28 points scored, 585 points conceded, minus 157 points differential. And Dogs, 14th position, 21 games, 20 points, 7 wins, 14 losses, 360 points scored, 657 points conceded, and minus 297 points differential. That doesn't reflect so anything, man. Right like there, yeah. the Bulldogs are the worst attack and worst defense. Yeah. Already. Like, yeah, honestly. But you have the most wins. Yeah, that yeah, matters. That's most that's wins, but at the end of the day, it's just about wins, right? It's, but I don't, it's weird. Like, I don't see us there. I don't see us no, third last. I put Dragons and Tigers attack over our, our attack and defense any day of the week. Yeah. You watch, like, I'm being serious when I, Joey, I mean it when I say it. When I watch, I'm, I know what you're saying about stick and losing culture, but when you watch the dogs play, I don't see nothing. I don't see, yeah. uh, at least with Tigers, I can see outside, inside ball. You know, there's, there's some game plan. And same thing with dragons. I see it. We see it. We see the grit, determination. This ladder, this bottom three, does not reflect the way it is right now. Um, how all. many times have dragons got smashed? If you can remember, this have they really no, got we, a, a few times. No. What do you mean? Yeah, and and you know what kills me? But like big score line. Yeah, and we've been in games like half time, right? Yeah. Like I remember, oh, we were eighteen all. Against Brisbane at the yeah. start of the year. Oh yeah, that game. Right? Yeah. That game. Yeah, yeah. With like ten minutes, nine minutes to go, right? Brisbane nearly hit fifty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that happen with nine minutes to go? What do you reckon happens in those moments? So in those moments, I'll tell you what my so team got does. smashed fifty two six sixteen against Sharks. Yeah, and no. you know what it was at half time. We we, we will. What was half time? Check oh, check. Yeah. Time. Um, it was. 24, I think, to 12. Well, I'm just seeing the try score. All right, so before conversion. that, yeah, so at one stage, it was 12-10. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it was 24-10. It was 24-10 yeah. then. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's how close it was at like, the start. What do you reckon happens We're in, in the game because what happens is the, they let one try in and then it's heads down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You also got right? smashed 48-18 against Warriors. Right, we've been, we've been pumped about five, six times. So that's right? two. That's two already. But look at this. Right? 
18 all, yeah? Look from the 71st minute. Try, yeah. try, try. That's one, two, three, four yeah. tries. In 10 minutes. Right? In, in eight minutes. Four tries in eight minutes. That's yeah. a try every set. Yeah. But like, what round was that? What, what round like was that? Round, it was early. In it's the not season. how you start. It's how it you was finish. early. It's not how you start. How you finish. It was round three. Round right? And we, and we were, and we just pumped. We had a buy the f- round and one. Had a good week. We pumped the Titans the week before. Yeah. Right? And then it was that. But when and you then it was Cronulla 40 to eight the following week. Yeah. Joel, you've only been smashed three times this season. But like, but when you look at this it- This isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, but, you, saying, but you know, you, you, us, but you know like what? At the end of the times. day, all right, let me just tell you guys. Again, let's take out the emotion, yeah, yeah, right? Always, always. At the end of the day, say you got smashed 15 times and we only got smashed three times, mm. right? At the end of the day- It's points that matters. It's, where are you? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where are last? you? Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. Where are we? Yo, second last. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. I know. And yeah. you know, even the wooden spoon, like, don't think it's just a it's just a dumb analogy yeah. that sports have incorporated throughout the years. Yeah. Like, it's they a don't, they don't physically, thing. yeah, they don't yeah. physically give you a wooden spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But sorry, the Tigers get the wooden spoon this year, which I think they will. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right? yeah, I think it's confirmed. It's They'll confirmed. They got a ninety-three percent or whatever. How is their season any different? So do I walk away after the 2023 season yeah. and say, yeah, 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 we didn't get the wooden spoon. Yeah, it's yeah. a success. Yeah. But it's still a failure for yeah, us. It yeah. is. It's still a failure for but you. Yeah, I get you what you're saying. We're winning games, <laughs> but I still, I think there's so much more behind it. Like no, the performance like- is not there when we're getting smashed every week. Like, yeah, for example, say you get smashed four weeks in a row, then you win a game, then you lose two games. No, no, that's, game. look, like, that, that. That's what we've been going through. Yeah, that's what you're going through. So, but like, whether it's smashed, can I tell you something? Have you ever lost a nail biter? Oh, uh, like no. Cool. Like, I'll tell oh, no. you now, right? No, we two, 2010, no, we, we won the game? grand what final. Who, really Bulldogs? Not, uh, Dragons. Oh, Dragons. 2010, yeah. we won the grand oh, yeah. final. I was Cowboys. 2011, Right, we make the pre. Uh, I think it was the game before the prelim. You lost against Broncos, Bris- Brisbane. Yeah, Broncos, yeah. Right, Darren. We were down ten nil with eight minutes to go. Yeah, we go bang bang, ten all. We go into extra time. Yeah, yeah Darren. Like Darren Lockyer kicks the arsiest field goal, forty five meters out. Yeah, we get knocked out of the semis. Right in golden point. Yeah. yeah. That, so my that's the, hurt. my point is that fucking hurt. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And I'll never forget, that was the year I was getting married. I was yeah. getting married in November. Yeah. Congrats. This semi, thank you. <laughs> this, this semi was in, in like September. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Like two months before. Bro, like I was like thinking, what am I living for? I had to <laughs> be reminded, hey, bro, you're getting married next month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Bro, it's devastating. It affected So you month. know what? Sometimes you rather get pumped by 40 then, then lose the nail biter. You always say, what could have been? Yeah, yeah. What could have been? Yeah. You know, only if you held on to that pass. Yeah. Only if you didn't push the pass. But like, it but, hurts. Yeah, but when you t- when you talk about like the ladder now, like I've written it down here, like you put it in perspective, like it doesn't reflect that at all. It's not big, big differences, but look, Dragons have 68 points over Bulldogs and 87, 87 points over Tigers. Um, yeah, but- we didn't beat you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, it comes down to like, and tigers wins are, and losses. Tigers are- Bottom of the ladder. Yeah. But we didn't beat them. Yeah. Do you get me? I get you, yeah, but- So for me, for me, like, we lost to the Wooden Spooners. You can't beat the Tigers that everyone else beat. So how good are you really going? You lost to them. We lost to them. We we almost lost to them. Wait, didn't you beat them? No. Uh, It's uncalled Magic Round. Oh, Magic Round. That's right. Magic Round and a few weeks ago. I I, I think you beat them. You beat them 16, 12 or something. Oh, in the second game. Yeah, second game you won. Yeah, the second won. game we yeah, won. But like, like, well, like, look, Bulldogs have had an extra 70 point, 72 points scored against comparison to Dragons and 91 over Tigers. That's points against. Yeah. We've conceded more. Yeah, and then that's bad. Bulldogs point, point differential is the worst in the league. My point it's is- 300, my, 300. Yeah, my point is like, put in perspective, the way this it sits, I know we didn't, uh, teams didn't beat each other or whatever. The way it sits and the way the, the, each different team, d- different teams play, like Tigers, Dragons, and Doggies. It's personally, I think it goes Dragons, Tigers, Tigers Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Yeah. Uh, I personally, like personally. I agree because- Because I, I was watching 
Just to recap on the on the game, the Knights versus Doggies. Uh, I was watching the mini. I'm telling you, I did not see like usually they had the highlight doggies attack. It was all tight. What could have been nights. like maybe missed opportunities with tries, disallowed tries, all, all nights, all nights. I was like, mate, that's my that's point. Where, that's where how, it like, is. How can you like we started the game ten minutes like we were on yeah. it like big time? How can you just concede a six, mm. one try, and then you just collapse? I said completely. Yeah. we're gonna score back to back. But my point is if. We've got 20.7 wins. If we were showing some sort of signs that there's a bright future ahead, I'll yeah. be happy. I'll say, yeah, we've tried this season. Yeah. We had many chances, but there's no signs to look forward to next year that, yeah, we could fight for top eight. Like it's just yeah. unacceptable but look, but right now as a dog fan. Again, you're being hard on yourselves. Mm. I know. Uh, maybe, okay, when, because maybe when we say we're what, not emotional, but what you have gone through, yeah. man, no team... No team can withstand that. Yeah. What you have gone through. So at one time, there was 11 injured players. Yeah. 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 At the start. Like that, that's that's 11. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's almost. Your whole squad. That's half of your top 30 squad. Yeah. What team, name me, look, and we spoke about the Cleary effect, mm. right? Not even Penrith with the system they have in place. If you take out 11 starting players out of their team. Right, they would not be sitting where they are. Oh yeah, they struggle in Origin. They'll, right? they'll still be in the eight. I reckon. I'm convinced. Okay, they might, but what? They won't be first. They won't be first. Yeah. Right, but you're talking about a Penrith team, That's right? A, a Penrith club yeah. that have a systems massive, in yeah. place yeah. that have that winning culture, They're making grand finals after yeah. grand final. So yeah, you're right. They might be higher than you, mm. but that's because of the position they're in as a club. Yeah. But give a a team that's rebuilding. Yeah. Right, brand new coach. A new GM, yeah. right? New recruits, okay? So again, and this is what people don't understand. And this is what, and when I say Bulldog supporters, I'm not talking about you boys. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about supporting the Bulldogs is one of the hardest teams to oh, play 100%. for. So as a player, yeah. if you told me, who do you want to play for? I would say, yeah, anyone but the Bulldogs. Because I know if I have an off game, yeah. you guys are going to pump me. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Right? Well, These are a tough, tough crowd to please. And they, they all but, know that. Yeah. But let's let's talk facts, yeah? yeah. So when I have eleven players out of my starting lineup, yeah, right, and you're talking a new team, new coach, new systems, yeah. You're talking now that. Sorry, I, I actually wrote I wrote some notes here, right? So automatically, the first thing you think of is match fitness. You can get me to run a hundred hills. Yeah. You can get me through most the most vigorous fitness regime you have, yeah. right? Nothing beats match fitness. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, it comes down yeah. to. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna bring up something later on if you don't mind about Luke Thompson. Yeah, because yeah. I've been on a Facebook war with some some yeah. Bulldog supporters yeah. over their thoughts of Thompson and his game, his return yeah. last week. Right, so. That, that's your first one is match fitness. And you've got team cohesion. Yeah. Right? Kick out needed time to play on the left edge. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't. You know? Yeah. Outside his center, his winger, you know, his 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 halves. Mm. Right? Yeah. You need those weeks. Week in, week out. Week in, week out. Yeah. Like, you gotta know how you play. Kick out doesn't know how any of them play. He doesn't mm. know. Uh, Ado Car's little habits, yeah. right? But if he played fifteen games in a row with Ado Car, he would know Ado Car has a jinx, yeah. right? You know he's got this like he does this little you know shuffle before he hits a hard step, yeah. right? These are little things that when you're playing week in week out makes a big difference, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah, and yeah. the disruptions, yeah. Name me how many games have you had the same spine? Yeah, it's yeah, been yeah, everywhere. It's been how, many to, how many How many? games? Oh, couldn't, couldn't, is, is it 10? 10? Like, 10? Been, couldn't put a number to Would it, it be less than 10? Yeah, maybe. Oh, I reckon, less, less. I reckon... I reckon uh, the yeah, same maybe spine. 10, maybe, 10, maybe, 10. maybe 10. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 You actually, you know what? Maybe that's something you can look into for next week. Yeah. Go through it and see, because I think it's prob I think it's less than 10. Yeah. Because don't forget, me. Flanagan had a crack in the halves. Yeah. Then you had the Oppo Olapu. Then you had the Carla Drajab. Yeah. Ockenborg was on the wing for Right. Ockenborg then shifted into. So, right. I yeah. guarantee you, right, it's less than 10. I reckon it's about I can't. Possibly. I can't see it. What, like, you know, being more than that. Because I feel like every single week we're hearing we're changes changing. in that spine. So I reckon it's more than 10. You know, how many rounds is. Yeah. Probably, it's probably I maybe feel like there less was more. than four, maybe five. 
I don't know. Yeah. That that oh. that in itself, like, go through every premiership winning team. Yeah. Look at their spine, every team that's won a premiership. I can guarantee you there would be no more than three games out of the 24, right, until they recently changed it to 26. Yeah. So there would be no more than three games that yeah. that spine wasn't together. Yeah. Because I can tell you now, as a Dragons supporter in 2010, Darius Boyd, Jamie Soward, Ben Hornby, right, and um, Dean Young, yeah. right, played together 95% of that year. Yeah. yeah. That's important. What, what did that result into? That yeah. resulted in a premiership. That's cohesion, yeah. man. Chemistry. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So think about it. Edwards, Luai, Car- yeah. Coruscant, um, Cleary. Cleary Yo. Right? Toto Croydon. How many games did they miss last? I know Cleary got injured last Cleary year, but injured. he only missed like three games. Three games. Yeah. yeah. How many other games weren't they together? That's yeah. how you, so you're right. That's how you build chemistry. Hundred percent. Yeah. What do you think? And don't forget, Penrith again. They played their juniors together. Yeah. yeah. So they've gone into grade knowing how they play. Yeah. yeah. So I think you boys are being a bit tough. Yeah. You know, with um, your team. Yeah. Because yeah, I get some positional changes. Why? Why was your fullback left that fullback for mm. so long? When you knew he wasn't a fullback, yeah, right. Yeah. Why is Karaz in the centres? Yeah, you know Karaz had an outbreak, uh, an outbreak year last year yeah. on the wing. Yeah. yeah, so why have you changed that? That's keep that, yeah. keep him where he's good, where he's proven. Yeah, right. That's like I, I know, and I get, I get your point. That's right, but like, but it's it's hard not to knock on this team when you got the GM doing rubbish decisions like selling your best player. So yeah, but you know what? Also, you got to understand. Rilla. Sometimes we don't know the back end. So I read a story. Avalero went right, and me- Avalero actually came out. Yeah. And the, the minute he left the meeting, yeah, he rang his manager and said, "It's a done deal." Yeah. All right. But right so you just need to understand. Bennett has that effect. Yeah. Dogs would have offered Avalero more money. He's. Uh, I heard it was only a hundred grand. You need it like more. Let more. But still, who? For Avrilo. I get what you're coming for. from. Who, who paid a hundred more? No, that he wanted a hundred more. He wanted a hundred more and then but dogs wouldn't give it to Yeah, him. okay. But the minute you go meet, let me guarantee, let me tell you That's something, like bro. Too. Let me tell you something. If I've got a chance to play under Wayne Bennett, yeah. I, I am taking unders for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. I'm taking it. I, I don't care if it's at the Dolphins or at the Gold Coast Chargers. Yeah. And he said it. Avrilo said it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. About he wants better. to take his game to the next level. Yeah. So as an individual, right, mm. and it's unfortunate. Yeah. Where's his game going to go to the next level with a Bulldogs team that's weak and that's weakened. Losing. With an inexperienced rookie coach, yeah. and he's still shining, so right? Like and he's Bennett. still standing out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what's going to happen under Bennett? He's going to. So again, it's soft. not always the club's fault. Yeah. yeah. Right. Players as well. They, I can know. name you fifteen players off the top of my head that have gone to another club for less money. Yeah. It's just unfortunate. Well, he was Jack off Wider, yeah, it is Jack Wider, but yeah, he's, he's done it. What we're annoyed is just we're always selling the players that love the nah, club. No, but it's not only that, man. But like, back to your point, like. If you really, if we really saw something, you'd fight for this guy. Okay, you, you'll fight. You'd but if the, the guy, the guy chose. But he loves Belmore. Like all right, he loves Belmore, but obviously he doesn't love it enough. Yeah. For him to leave Did the club. He, all right. Like let me let me ask you something. Did Dwayne Bennett put a gun to his head to leave? No, no. no. Why didn't he stay? Yeah. Yeah. Even if the dogs did offer him less money, right? Yeah. He's twenty. What? 22, 23? Two, 22, like yeah. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. He's young. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. If you really love something, bro, right? You you'll do whatever it to takes stay, to yeah. play for yeah, him. Yeah. Sorry, man. So yeah, yeah, he heard Wayne Bennett. And he he heard Wayne Bennett. He fell in love. Wayne Bennett sold him the story, right? And he went for it. Like he, like Josh Reynolds. If that Josh, he'd, Josh Reynolds would not move. Yeah, right? yeah. And I get his point. Like he put, like he loves no, him. Joey's right. Yeah, like that Josh Reynolds. That 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 was a shit move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah. That's yeah. where you can blame the club yeah. and say, why the hell would you move him on? That's what my dad. Why said wouldn't you offer him? He goes, that's a, the worst decision. And they're made. paying the price till now. Yeah. Because you know what? This guy, and I'm going to put a disclaimer out there so I don't get shit talked, but the guy is my mate. Yeah. yeah. Right? So I'm going to say that out yeah. loud. I was on the field when he retired. Yeah. Right? With his family. and But that was the most emotional emotional like day thing, yeah, yeah. as family and yeah, friends. Yeah. Right? But let me tell you something. Even up until his last act, 
was a selfless one. Mm. He was selfless in his career. He done everything for the dogs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He'll tell you himself. Yeah. He's not an Andrew Johns. Yeah. Right? He's not a Jonathan Thurston. Right? But I guarantee he had bigger heart than yeah. those two oh, yeah, put yeah, together. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah. Right? He'll be up there as probably one of the one best of the ones best. that had like half. Oh, yeah, right, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. The way he played the game, yeah. The yeah. way he put his body on the line, he was sacrificing every week for the dogs. Yeah. 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 Right? That's passion. Even up until right this year. His last act was a sacrifice for the club. Yeah. The top 30. Right? Yeah, yeah. Skelton. Why? Skelton. Yeah. Even though, all right, yeah, he wasn't on big money this year, right? Yeah. He wasn't on the money that he's used yeah. to. It's still money, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. He yeah. gave up that money. Yeah. yeah. Even if he was playing New South Wales Cup, mm. he's still getting paid. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. But yeah. I, right? yeah. Like you said, it just he wanted to be at the dogs again. No matter how much he's getting paid, he just wanted to play for he the club. He just wanted to play. So it wasn't about the but money. It wasn't about yeah, the money so to the, begin with. But yeah. then he gave up whatever little money he was getting, yeah. right? To give to allow the club to yeah. grow. Yeah. yeah. To, to to land this halfback that he's after. I still I still feel like he should have stayed for that one more game, that top thirty, and retired in first grade. Yeah, but you know what? Again, he selfless the club act. For, he put the I club thought first. of it. Why why didn't he do that? Yeah, but I, you know what? The dogs would have lost Sexton. Yeah. 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 So you know what? Maybe it was we need Sexton now to sign, yeah. or someone else gets him. Mm. Yeah, fuck man. I, so it was a decision that needed to be made then someone, and there. He was talking to someone else. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. So who talking about all the clubs, Tigers, Dragons, Bulldogs, based on all the performances? Yes, that's the ladder right now. But in your heart, what do you think? The way it be, sits is fine. Reckon? I'm happy with yeah, it. Agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. Happy I with it. it. I yeah. think dogs. Dogs being on top of us. Happy with it. Why? You beat us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, the Dragons. Sitting where we are, like, uh, uh, it doesn't make me happy. Yeah. But you know what? We deserve that. You know why we deserve that? Is because you didn't buy into whatever the coach was selling you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You'd put your head down the minute a team puts one or two on you. Yeah. So you know what? Sit there. Yeah. Remember how it feels like. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah. yeah. Well, right? Tigers, why they deserve the wooden spoon is because they only won three games. Yeah, yeah. That's and that's what it is. It, it comes down to the it comes numbers, down to wins. Comes to wins the numbers, the wins, or whatever. It's that's the way it is. Yeah. But like, but I'm I'm, gonna, I, again, I'm happy with how they look, sit. Mm. It's about the wins, of course. But I'm gonna be based on signs and improvements. I'll pull Dragons, fourteenth, oh wait, fifteenth, then Tigers, and then Dogs. If based on improvements and signs, well, what? that's how I'm. Based yeah, on. again, but again, I know. You just don't see light. Yeah. Mm. That's why yeah. you're saying this, yeah. right? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you're going to say the same. you're going to have the dog's wooden spoon. Yeah. Is how it should be. What you want to say? Sixth, I'll say 15th. No, but I'm basing so on signs. What? I'll, I'll say Dragons 14, Bulldogs 15, and Tigers 16. Because okay. three wins to seven is yeah. a big difference. Yeah, it is a big, wins, it is a big I, difference. I, I, I think no, I'm, not, I'm not basing it off the wins. I'm, I'm just basing it simply, simply the way they're playing. Yeah, simply the way they're playing. And a bit of the stats, don't get me wrong, with points scored and, and differential points. That's what I'm basing it off. I'm, regardless of wins. Wins yeah. are wins. That's well, why they're there. But you know what? If you're gonna talk about that, then why then why aren't the dragons? You know what? You deserve to be last. We've got uh, a state of origin and an international yeah. halfback. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. We've got a gun fullback. Yeah, he's a kid. He's young, but he's a gun. He's got pace. Yeah. We've got a try scoring freak in Ravalawa. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. We've got we've got a centre that got touted to yeah. be the next Gaznia. Yeah. Right in Lomax. Yeah. Right. We've got a forward pack of Dane Laurie, who's a who's a, a tank. Yeah. yeah. You got Jack DeBellin, who's played Origin. Jack Bird. Right. Yeah. You got Jack Bird, oh, who's oh, won a Premiership. Origin, played Origin. Too. Right. Too. Played Origin. Like, bro, I can go through the whole team. Where we're sitting now, you know what? Give them the wooden spoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But do you but see when I paint I, I my, see, yeah. when I paint my team's picture the yeah. way it is? Doesn't it make the dogs? Doesn't it make you think? You know what? Do we really have it that bad? So now it's on Spotify only. So yeah, but Joey, on your, on your yeah, point. Yeah, so pen, 